Hello and welcome to Center Streamer's server let's play. I'm here on the server with my friend Pegmus, uh, who's out and about adventuring the middle of a freaking desert. <laughs> He's out and about visiting, the, uh, visiting, uh, wandering the world. While I'm here back at base, finishing up a few minor things, moving stuff from the chest. Like a good housewife. Oh, shut up. At least somebody's doing something productive. Hey, you know what? I found blaze powder. What have you done today? Uh, getting everything organized into chests so that we have everything organized. So that when we go mining again, we don't have to worry about a, a full chest. Uh, probably a good idea, that one. Which, also, Pigmas, while we were in between episodes, had ma made uh, both of us miner's backpacks. So that, you know, when we go mining, all the ore and stone and everything gets dumped in the dare before it gets dumped into our inventory. So we can actually have a little bit of extra space. Uh, so yeah, I'm work my project right now is I'm working on making a project table, which the it's a fun little tool that, let me pull it up here in the, any inventory, any item screen. Project, uh, project table. Fun little tool here that basically it is a crafting table plus a chest in one. So you can store your items and build stuff from just the craft table instead of just having this you'll have space to store what items you need so if you're doing multiple sets of items like gears or batteries or whatever and you need multiple instead of just one you can set it up and it'll grab from the chest inventory and produce what you need so i'm going to destroy the chest or the crafting table now and get my uh Pocket crafting table. And craft myself one chest. Put that there. Put the project put the crafting table up top. Three regular stone. Not cobblestone, just regular stone that you would mine from a wall, which you can get cobblestone, put it in a furnace, and smelt it back into this. And you get a project table. Fancy, you know what you should do right now, buddy? What's up? You should uh, snag our portal gun, which I think is in my room. Shoot a portal into one wall, and then teleport yourself to here, and then shoot it into one of these walls so I can switch back and forth from, uh, well, 440 meters away. All right. Yeah, so I think I... Yeah, so let the YouTube audience know, but that's the one fun thing with this FTV is they have portal guns. They've pretty much got bunch of different styles. They've got even the portal gun with the potato on it. So, right. I'm partial to that gravity gun, moving blocks around. Yeah, that's fun. So, alright, I'm going to TP to you, Pegmus. You already put the portal in one area, right? Yes. You, okay, you made yourself a little hole. Okay, that's... Okay, well... Um, but, but, uh, I'm going to put the... There. Got your portal for you. Awesome. Alright. Need to eat up. Door. Alright, let's try this portal gun again. Now. Need to TP back to you. Alright. Oh, there's your little... There's your little hut. I like how there's like this little mountainside thing of lava over there. Alright. Portals are linked. Are you still around me? Um. No. I'm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm just, I just came through the portal, so. Yeah, I mean, look, look at this uh, side over here, the wall of the mountain. Hold on. Where are you? 
I'm trying to mine the side. I don't even know what this is. Uh, appetite. It's a, oh. um, I believe it gets turned into, um, fertilizer. Yeah, well, that's nice. It can stay there then. Yeah. I was hoping it was something pretty. Okay, well, um, I'm back down into the cavern that Ian Pengmas had found and started working on mining until we started going elsewhere. And I'm being attacked by a zombie. Evil brain zombie. Hey, hey, back off. Back off. Yeah, there you go. And you had a potato. I found a ravine. Cool. Uh, so, anyways, uh, the main reason why I came down here is to mine all this black stuff that's underneath me. Because the fact that one of our major tasks is to get another portal. Well, what better way than to start mining the obsidian that we had made when we first came down here and flushed water over the lava. So... Okay. Where we had the materials for that. Yeah, you found uh, the, the few diamonds. So, oh, okay. All right, that's strange. Now my now the server's starting to have issues with blocks reappearing back in front of me. Goody. Well, so I found bacon. You found bacon? Well, alive bacon. So I guess we'd call them big still. But yeah, bacon. Yeah. They'll be they'll be baking soon enough. Uh, I'm gonna sit here and mine this real quick so I can get ten obsidian ore, and then I'll go back to the base and make ourselves a another portal. And then hopefully by next episode we'll be uh, actually going into the Nether. That'll be fun. Yeah, um, I I vote we have armor out the butt. Yeah, which means probably we'll have the portal next episode, but next episode will probably be mining all the time. Mining for an episode, or actually between episodes, I think we'll actually mine materials and stuff and gather everything we need and then come back. And yep. you, you'll have us in the nether instead of watching us mine. Cause... Well, like there's really that much more to do in the nether. Well, there's no, the, no, uh, the nether fortresses and ghasts and the bla blazemen and... Yeah, um, I'll be honest, I've actually never gone to the nether on my own. Well, I'll just shove you in and see how long you survive. Well, my death count didn't go up this episode, so whatever. how many episodes are we at now? Uh, this would be episode... Six? Six? Seven? Who knows? But, hey, at least the last few episodes you haven't actually uh, died, died, so... It... I think I just found Greenland. Yeah. <laughs> A snow biome. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. What'd you find? Well... It's a lot of ice over the ocean, and then some of those uh, evergreen trees. Oh, cool. Yeah, not bad. Yes. So, all right. So, time to go back up to the house. I've got enough obsidian. Time to go build ourselves another portal. Do you uh, have flint? Yes, and I do have iron. Well, there you go. You've got the... We have we will have flint and steel. Which ironically, is flint and iron, not flint and steel. <laughs> well, steel and iron are cousins. Yes. On the mo molecular structures wise. So. Well, you know what? This is feed the beast, not science class. Oh, why not? I wanted it to be science class. Well, you know what? For the courtesy of our audience, all what one of me. Um. I vote that we put a warning science ahead label. Warning, may, con may contain science? Yes. So Hello, anybody. Your, so how's your adventure going? I found another cave. Oh, not really that much of a cave. 
some copper in it. Might as well grab that while I'm at it. Because copper means copper cable, and copper cable means, well, eventual progress. Yes. Which is part of the reason I made that, uh, that the little bridge over the, uh, near the giant tree. Yeah, so we can get a wind farm going up there. That would be, that would be a very good spot to put a wind farm. Yep. And then we can put, get power, uh, power lines into a Tesla. Or not a Tesla. Uh, yes, I think it's a Tesla. You need a generator? Uh, no, I need a energy, uh, Tesseract. Basically, oh. so we can, you know, have the energy stored up there so we don't have to run wires because, you know, energy fades Dissipates. through wires. So, you know, put the windmills up there, run it down to a generator, which then into an energy test rack that we link to the house. And we have energy that we don't have to worry about wires. We just have to worry about wires in our house. So, all right. Uh, yes, back on to what I was doing with the obsidian. Give me a few seconds, I want you to teleport me to you in a bit. Okay, I shall be able to do that. Okay. Just let me know when. Just grabbing some last minute things. I found a pumpkin. I have a f I found a few of those on my little adventure between episodes. Okay, well suddenly I feel a lot less cool. Ton of sheep, Ooh. unfortunately. Ooh, what? You, you found sheep? Yeah. Hmm, that, that's nice. They're scattered about here. This probably puts me around two dozen sheep. Um, alright. Well, um... And what are those really, 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 really tall trees called? Well, if it's the big trees, um... I think they're called Everwoods. Or Great Everwoods. Yeah, let's call them that, because that's how tall they are. Giant. So. Alright, just let me know when you're ready to teleport. I will let you know. I see some sugarcane. I want to make sure I don't miss anything at the last possible instance. Yeah, which is a good thing. Oh, and I got disconnected anyway. Oh, fun. Alright, well, let me get back to you real quick. I'm going to join back in when you can. Nope, not working. Logging in. Disconnected. And it's an internal server error. Alright, so... Well, I guess that's where we're gonna end the episode then. Yep, sounds good. So, um... Well, between now and next episode, uh... If anything, we'll have, um... Uh, done... Some more mining, get more minerals, probably updated the house a little bit. So if things change between the episodes, uh, don't fear. Uh, I'll keep you in loop on what goes on with the next episode of what's been done, what's going on. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.